In this video, we're going to look at solder suckers. Solder suckers are used to suck molten solder up through the nozzle into the vacuum chamber. To use a solder sucker, you've got to prime the solder sucker. Once you've got the solder sucker primed, you have to press this button and this arm moves up. There's a spring inside here. It's going to move a little tab in here. I'll show you in a minute. The tab is pushed up by the spring and it creates a vacuum in here and it sucks air through this nozzle. So any molten solder here is going to be sucked through the nozzle and into this chamber here. This is very similar. You prime the solder sucker, you press the button, there's a little spring in here, same deal. Any molten solder is going to be sucked through this nozzle and into this chamber. Let's have a look at the inside. To have a look at the inside of these solder suckers, you undo the tip, it's just a thread, and you can see that there's a fair bit of solder in there already. And here's the spring. The inside, there's this little arm. That's just to keep it in center and stop it wobbling as it, as it travels up through this chamber. And I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if we can get this camera into a bit of a better angle. And you can see here, there's the little chamber. Let's see if we can pull it out. So there is the magic that makes the vacuum. You can see the end of this tip push through here as you prime the solder sucker. If I put, if I put it back together, now if I prime it, you can see, you can see that metal part push through the tip. And that's because if you have any solder stuck in this tip, you want to be able to push that solder back out. Same with this one. This one doesn't undo from the tip, it undoes from the back here. So let's undo that. Undo, undo, undo. And, oh. same deal. There's a spring. This is the part that causes the suction to happen. And there's the vacuum chamber. We'll just put that back together. These tips are rated for the heat of molten solder. So don't be afraid to put the tip actually into the bed of molten solder when you make it. Here's our practice solder board, and I've put some solder on these big square tabs here. This is really hard to try and uh, get everything in camera, so let's just try. The way you do this works like this. You put the soldering tip into the pad, and you let the solder go molten. Then the tip of the solder sucker goes over the solder and the soldering iron tip. You press the button and it sucks up the solder. We'll do it again. The soldering tip goes onto the solder. The solder turns molten. You put the soldering tip over the soldering iron tip and the molten solder. You prime it. You get the gunk out of the way. Press the button. Prime it, put the soldering tip over the solder, let the solder go molten, put the tip over the soldering iron tip and the molten solder, press the button, prime it, soldering tip on the solder, you let the solder go molten, put the solder sucker tip over the soldering iron and the molten solder, press the button, put the soldering iron tip onto the solder, let the solder go molten, make sure it's primed, Let's use this other one. Back in there, okay. There we go. Well, most of the solder. There's still a little bit of solder on here, but that's okay.